I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? You were down there a while. What's happening? Did you even find anything? I have the evidence I need to prove that Lucas is innocent. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't say. No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? Well, Jesse? Go on, Cassie, tell them. Tell us what, Cass? It sounds like Jesse's trying to make you think that I'm the White Pumpkin. No way! That can't be true, right? Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're gonna have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Dan got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense, Jesse. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Torque Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Shh. Let Jesse finish. Cassie Rose was already in the room. No one else there. And Torque Dog's picture was somehow crossed Th out. That doesn't prove anything. Lucas is still way guiltier looking. Well, what about what came next? When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh. I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre exed out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. You're doing great, Jesse. Now go in for the kill. Metaphorically. But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all look just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow is black, white, and orange. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well, I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I just don't believe this. I know. I was shocked too. I'm relieved, but also surprised. Always the quiet ones. But Cassie, I still don't understand why a portal key. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years! Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is, until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you, so I tried my best to earn your friendship, figure out who had it. How could you, Cassie? You really think that's an excuse? You're pathetic, Cassie. It doesn't excuse all the horrible things you've done. Spoken just like a person who has no idea what it feels like to be stuck somewhere you don't belong. We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 I won't let you do that. I can't. No! This is your fault! You did this to me! Ah! I'll fight all of you! Each and every one of you! Whoa! Another trap! We need to dig her out! After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, look! I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. 
Wow, the trapper taken out by one of her own traps. That's ironic. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. Never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad that Dan and Sparkles aren't here to smell it. Or Top Dog and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, sorry to be a downer. Just can't stop thinking about it. I tried my hardest, but there was nothing I could do. Oh, we all know that, Jesse. It's not your fault. Lucky for us that Paul brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> I mean, that's a nice offer and all, but I don't think we'll be portal hopping without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. You stole the portal key from Dan? It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. And so the drama continues. Fascinating. Hey, whoever keeps it, just make sure you're careful with it, okay? Yes. The ability to jump between worlds is not something to take lightly. After all this drama, I might be finished with flints and steels and portals anyway. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just gonna start walking home. Thanks for everything. Me too. Bye, you guys. What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie What's-Her-Name was talking about being trapped here, from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds... It all adds up, I guess. I know! Oh, wow, I think you could be right. It totally makes sense. If it's true... I sort of thought old builders would be taller. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Huh? That's weird. Slow? That's strange. I thought. Oh! Oh! 